Bengxi Steel Group is famous for its coal and ivory resources and comprised of several subsidiary companies. The whole skeleton map of Bengxi Steel Group looks just like a holy dragon surrounded by green mountains and twinkling rivers. Our company, Bengxi Pita Duct Tile Cast Ivory Pipes Company Limited, is shaped as a bright pearl in the mouth of the dragon. Bengxi Pita Duct Tile Cast Ivory Pipes Company Limited is a significant subsidiary company of Bengxi Steel Group with an annual capacity of 650,000 tons. The company with 1.38 billion RMB in capital assets is capable of producing pipes of different joint type, internal lining and external coating, and the diameter ranges from DN80 to DN2600 mm. In April 1997, our company passed the ISO 9001 Quality System Certificate. In September 1998, we got the Product Quality Authentication issued by SGS. In September 1999, our products were among the list of European high quality products. In January 2004, we passed ISO 14001 Environmental and Management System Authentication. Our products are sold to international market directly and get the share of the international market. The average proportion of export reaches 50% of the total output. Our company plays a very important role in both domestic and international market. Raw Material Supply Bengxi Steel Group owns the biggest open-air mine of Asia and exploits the world's largest ivory mine, named the Bengxi Dadaiko Ivory Mine, which is explored as far as a shareholder. The tight cooperation of internal departments and the swiftness of cereal producing procedures are the advantages of our group. It was called Mineral Aura among the mountain, and a mountain ivory just made beside the mountain. All the big ivory for duct tile cast ivory pipe are supplied by Bengxi Steel Group. The Jason brand pig iron is famous for the high quality with low sulfur and phosphorus, which offers special and excellent raw material to our pipe. Mountain Ivory Processing After machining, the ivory ore, which is taken from Bengxi Steel Group, open air mine is melted into mountain iron in the blaster furnace. Then the mountain iron will be poured into iron ladles and transported to Bengxi Pei Tai Duck Tile Cast Iron Pipes Company Limited. Then we will add scrap steel, ferrosilicon, ferromagnets, and other ferro alloys to adjust the chemical components of mountain iron. After the chemical components of mountain iron is qualified, the spherical procedure will be carried out. Then the sample will be taken to the vacuum direct reading spectrometer for a quick analysis after slacking. And a qualified mountain iron will be transported to centrifugal casting machines by different ladles for casting. Centrifugal casting. There are 14 casting machines in our company. Among them, 10 for water cooling casting. Four for hot mode casting. The small casting machines are for DN80 to DN400 mm pipes. The medium sized casting machines are for DN400 to DN800 mm pipes. The large casting machines are for DN600 to DN1200 mm pipes. And the hot mode casting machines are for DN1200 to DN2600 mm pipes. Before casting, the qualified spherical molten iron in the ladle will be poured into a fan-shaped ladle for slacking, temperature measurement. Then start centrifugal casting machine for casting. Two pipes temperature is cooling down to 700 degrees Celsius in the centrifugal casting machine. The pipe will be pulled out by the extracting tube, then transported to the annealing furnace's buffer area waiting for annealing. Casting Pipes Annealing 
we have three continuous Sanili furnaces, which are mainly for D and 80 to 1200 mm pipes, and four table Sanili furnaces, which are mainly for D and 1200 to 2600 mm pipes. One continuous Sanili furnace is imported from IOB company in Germany, and the other two heat accumulating annealing furnaces are developed together with Dahlia Wanto Company. The furnace can anneal different diameter pipes from D and 80 to 1200 mm at the same time. After annealing, the mechanical property of pipe should comply with the requirements of ISO 2531 standard. Finishing Handle our company has four finishing lines, including two small finishing lines, one large finishing line, and one extra large line. After annealing, the pipes will be carried to different finishing lines, according to the diameter. The small finishing line can handle pipe from D and 80 to 400 mm. The large finishing line can handle pipes from D and 350 to 1200 mm. And the extra large finish Elia can handle pipes from D900 to 2600 mm. The first step of finishing is zinc painting. A layer of metal zinc will be sprayed on the exterior of the pipe, evenly according to ISO 8179 standard. The next step is a validity correction process to further guarantee the sealness of the joint after installation. Then polish the internal surface of socket and spigot. This also can guarantee the sealing effect of the rubber rings. The qualified pipe will be carried out hydraulic pressure test. The test pressure and duration of test will be complied with ISO 2531 standards strictly. For gas carrying pipes, the pipe should do air tightness test after hydraulic press test. If the pipe passes the hydraulic pressure test, samples will be taken as per different batch for metallic structure and mechanical properties tests. Finally, the inspector will do the dimension and external surface quality check one by one. Then the qualified pipes will be carried to the cement lining line. Lining, coating, and panty and marking. Our company possesses five lining lines and three panty lines including lining machine, curing kit, and panty machine as main equipment. We have two small lining lines for D80 to 400 mm pipe, one metal lining line for D350 to 1200 mm pipe, two large lining lines for D900 to 2600 mm pipe. The cement mortar will be made stable by cement lining machine centrifugal force, so the cement mortar will be adhered to pipe's internal surface equally and firmly. We will inspect the cement lining thickness and surface quality as per quality standard. Then the pipe will be transported into curing pit for curing. After finishing curing successfully, the pipe will be taken to internal grinding process. Bitumen will be painted on the surface of the pipe equally by high pressure method. Marking will be painted on the qualified pipe. Then the pipe will be packed at captive store yard. Auxiliary Procedure Except the above procedures, the production of DI pipe also includes repairing of molds and the producing of sand core, etc. Introduction to Product our product complies with ISO 2531, ISO 7186, EN 545, EN 598, GB 13295, etc. A. As per the different joint type of product, pipe could be divided into T type joint pipe, K type joint pipe, S type joint pipe, N type joint pipe, and self restrained joint pipe. A. T-type joint pipe. The diameter ranges from D and 80 to 1800 mm mainly for carrying water. B. K-type joint pipe. The diameter ranges from D and 1400 to 2600 mm mainly for carrying water. C. S-type and N-type joint pipe. 
The diameter ranges from DN100 to DN700 mm, mainly for carrying gas. D. Self-restraint joint pipe. This product is developed by our company, ranging from DN100 to DN1200 mm, and is used mainly for carrying water with pipelines that are submerged in water or harsh environment. B. According to different gliding material, the pipe could be divided into ceramic epoxy pipe, PU pipe, PE pipe, and new type pipe. We also could produce special lining or coating pipe as per customer's requirements. A. Ceramic epoxy lining pipe. The ceramic epoxy lining pipe is the new product developed by our company. The pipe's diameter ranges from DN80 to 2600 mm, mainly for carrying industrial waste water with high acidic or alcoholic and sanitary sewage water. B. PU pipe. PU pipe is the new product developed by our company. The pipe's diameter ranges from DN80 to DN26 mm, mainly for carry highly acidic or alkaline water. C. PE pipe. PE pipe has the capacity to resist the corrosion of many chemicals. These pipes are mainly for highly acidic or alkaline environments or for carry powder, etc. With the advantages of resources and equipment, we promise that every piece of pipe will be of high quality. This is paid as promise forever. We control every detailed aspect of our product's quality. Quality is an organization's life, is our developing philosophy. In order to meet the market demands, our company expedites the speed of developing new products by increasing investment, improving procedures, and continuously reaching new and more valuable products. We believe that the company's core competitiveness can only be improved with technical innovation. We have established maturity product control, inspection, tracking, and after-sales service system. Sales branch offices have been established in over 10 large cities including Beijing, Shanghai, and Guangzhou. Our company owns its own export department, allowing us to export our products by ourselves, while we engage in international trade through more than 10 foreign trade companies or agents. Our sales policy is to treat both exports and local sales as equally important. At the same time, we keep expanding our sales market share. The products have been sold to the entire Chinese domestic market and exported to over 40 countries in Asia, the Middle East, North Africa, and South America. Our products have earned a good reputation among its customers. Our company's mission is to meet customers' demands and exceed our expectations. Our company's aim is that reputation is first and that customer is can. We will give all our customers the best service with a high-quality product, reasonable prices, perfect after-sales service, and top-ranking reputation. <laughs>